Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we're doing the January Horror Pack Unboxing Blu-ray Edition. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service that's sent to your house every single month, because that's why it's monthly, and it has Blu-rays or DVDs. They're horror movies. And there's always the Horror Pack exclusive, which is a film you cannot get on Blu-ray. <laughs> and they got all the different genres. Well, subgenres in horror. We got zombies, paranormal, there's sometimes thrillers, slashers. We don't know until we open it up. And here we go. I gotta move this fucking drink. Sorry. At least you don't choke on it. <laughs> yeah, Frank bunted on the intro, so I had to replace him. <gasps> I knew it! Flashback. Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we're doing the January horror un- Oh my god. Today we're doing the January horror pack unboxing Blu-ray edition. <laughs> You're totally gonna end me out. <laughs> Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we're doing the unboxing. <laughs> end of flashback. All right, first up, we've got Revenge. This is uh, based on the quotes on the back. It says, gleefully demented, utterly remarkable. It's a, it was a Shutter exclusive for a while, I think. We've got a slip cover. And this is a movie, admittedly, I watched 30 minutes of and turned it off. Not because it was bad, but because I kind of got with it where they were going. I'm like, okay, I get it. And I just stopped. Is it supposed to be about a pregnant woman wanting revenge? Or is it the pregnancy is the revenge? Uh, that's a great question. It's actually the baby like talking to her and making her kill like bad dudes in so, her life. So you mean to tell me it's look who's talking, <laughs> the horror movie. Yes, but that makes it sound better than it is. It's like I said, I turned it off not because it was a bad movie, just because I'm like, okay, after like two or three guys, I'm like, I get it, after I'm you, done here. After you hear Bruce Willis telling her like, <laughs> go, go kill it. This is a movie that I know a lot of people do like, and it was on a lot of people's top 10 lists. It just wasn't for me, but it is nice to, I guess, own. Maybe I'll revisit it one day, and it does have a slip cover. Negativity's not good for the baby's spirit, really. Do you think? Frank, your very out. first Blu-ray. Oh, hope I get don't a- Don't look, no, no. Hope no I get a good one. You're not gonna know this movie. That's what you think. Pu I've heard of this one. I, I have heard of Puppet Master. I think I might have seen- Have I seen any of this? I don't think so. This but is the, the littlest Reich. This is the latest one. World War- World War Three begins on your toy shelf. <laughs> and as you can see, you've got a bunch of puppets that kill. Yeah, yeah, I do see that. I'm like positive, I I, I know the name and I feel like I, I have seen something of this ages ago. I don't know. Maybe you saw Jay and I review it on the channel. Oh! Check that. <laughs> yes, we did review <laughs> this a while back when it first came out. It's an excellent movie. I'm using excellent loosely, it's a Puppet Master movie, but it's the first one that's not done by Full Moon, but uses the same characters. So you have people you're familiar with, like Blades in it, the Drillhead guys in it. I don't know if Leech Woman's in it. I don't remember. There's a few new puppets. There's like a drone guy who does a really cool kill. There's some really graphic and awesome practical effects. I mean, it, it says best kill scenes in modern horror on the back by uh, Bloody Disgusting. It, it does. It, same. it does have really fun characters. That's the one thing that this film had was like the characters that were in like the hotel or wherever it was that was taking place. I remember like the interactions oh, are pretty hilarious. What was that one guy's name? Bear or Cuddly yeah, or something? The, the yeah, the Cuddly Bear. The Cuddly Bear. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This, ha this is actually worth watching and you can watch it without having seen the other like 11 movies. Yeah, because they do do kind of a recap of the history of the puppets themselves. So what you're saying is this would be a good starter for me. Yeah, like oh. if you got a horror pack and you've never watched a Puppet Master movie and just heard the name before, that's a good Frank it, movie. Uh, is it? Okay. Might have to watch it. I'll go right from the top. It's really slippery though, not wanting to come out. We have The Dark and the Wicked. Two slip covers. Ooh. All right. This is a movie I don't know anything about, so we'll watch the trailer really quickly and then we will come back. A little longer than a few minutes later. This movie looks more like a, a slow burn kind of paranormal movie where an older lady says that she like sees like dark and wicked things, as the title suggests, and then kills herself. And then her like kids are like, no, nah, she was crazy. Oh wait, I found this journal. Oh, and I found this. Maybe she wasn't crazy after all. 
and maybe there is something dark and wicked coming. I am very interested in this film. This is like right up my alley in the sense of the paranormal field, but it's very suspenseful. I'm yeah. I, just watching the trailer. It had that like vibe of like hereditary witch, like slower films that had a lot to do with more than we're actually seeing in the setting. Yeah, which is great. That's had a trailer that does it well. It doesn't give you just like jump scare after jump scare. And I have seen this on like a lot of top 10 lists for when this came out as well. I think it's another, I don't know if this one was on Shudder as well. The RLJ just seems to get every Shudder thing. Yeah, because it does have yeah. the little Shudder symbol down oh, the so bottom. it might be like a Shudder original or an exclusive, but yeah, cool. Yeah, so I'm interested in this one, uh, Frank. Our uh, our guest today. What do you think? It uh, yeah, definitely looks interesting. I uh, I would give it a watch. I don't know. Kind of kind of gives me maybe not as much, but um, um, I kind of thought about like even Babadook as I was watching this one. So I could sit through that. Way to go, Frank! You got through it. Yeah, and there one more. Though. One oh, more. there's one more. Yeah. The exclusive. One you can pull it. Oh, the exclusive. I'll pull the, it. The grand reveal. Yeah, all right, Frank. I'll pull it out, but you can you can talk. I was, I'm guest here, Frank. You're like so. the Vanna White of horror, horror pack unboxings now. Yeah. Go White. go flip your letter. <laughs> yeah, you're basically just like here's the can of beans. Vanna doesn't one. do the can of beans. That's Price is Right. You talk, you say he's a showgirl. Oh yeah, you're more like a showgirl. <laughs> Vanna White flips the letters. <laughs> yeah. You're like the showgirl, but like not the Elizabeth Berkeley. So like I said, ooh. So that make, that makes you Drew Carey and I'm Bob Parker. Wait, how would I just be the announcer? Come on down! You're know. the next contestant on uh, what's the Blu-ray in this bag? Ha! It is <clears throat> Bad Dreams, which looks right from the cover. It gives me like a, a almost a Pinocchio vibe kind of. Yeah, it's like two yeah. Pinocchios holding each other's eyes. Yeah, like a Cuphead style too. The best of Nightmare Film Festival 2021. Mm. So it looks like it's probably a collection of short films that aired at this festival. We're not gonna watch the trailer for this because there's gonna be like a dozen ten, things. Yeah, about there you it. go. Yeah, ten. Ten terrifying tales from your darkest nightmares. Doesn't tell us what those ten terrifying tales are, but it shows some pictures. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so nobody owns this one. This is a Horror Pack Limited Edition 67. I think this is pretty solid. I think that Somehow the worst one is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. Uh, I'm sorry, Horror Pack. But Dark and the Wicked seems like we'd all want to watch that one. Puppet Master is a slasher. It's fun. It's a franchise you've heard of, but done slightly better. Don't tell Charles Vand. And Prevenge, I know people like. I just wasn't a huge fan. Good variety, Frank. I would, mean, would, would you be interested? Definitely the Dark and the Wicked. And I the mean, Puppet, Puppet one? Master, again, yeah, if it's a good starting place for, for someone who hasn't seen any of them. And what about this one that's killing for two? From what I've heard, pregnancy is already a nightmare, so, you know. It's brilliantly conceived. New York Times. That's why you know, that's why you know the name New York Times, because they got the bangers on there. All right, not a bad pack. I think a lot of people will be happy with this. And there's, you probably don't own at least three of these. I can't imagine a ton of people own those ones. Puppet Master seems like one of those movies that most people would have just went and bought because it did go really cheap really quickly and it's a recognizable franchise. If you guys are interested in learning the prices, learn more about Horror Pack in the links in the description. Use the code BLOODBATH to save $3 on your order. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything here on Bloodbath and beyond.